the energy spectrum of an electron moving in a periodical potential of rigid crystal lattice consists of allowed and forbidden bands and is known as the block spectrum. An electron with energy inside an allowed band moves as a free electron but has an effective mass that differs from the electron mass in vacuum. However, a crystal lattice is deformable and displacements of atoms from their equilibrium positions are described in terms of phonons. Electrons interact with these displacements, and this interaction is known as electron-phonon coupling. One of possible scenarios was proposed in the seminal 1933 paper by Love Landau, which includes the production of a lattice defect such as an F-center and a trapping of the electron by this defect. A different scenario was proposed by Solomon P. Carr that envisions dressing the electron with lattice deformation. Such an electron with the accompanying deformation moves freely across the crystal, but with increased effective mass. Picar coined for this charge carrier the term, polaron. The general concept of a polaron has been extended to describe other interactions between the electrons and ions in metals that result in a bound state or a lowering of energy compared to the non-interacting system. Major theoretical work has focused on solving Froelich and Holstein Hamiltonians. This is still an active field of research to find exact numerical solutions to the case of one or two electrons in a large crystal lattice, and to study the case of many interacting electrons. Experimentally, polarons are important to the understanding of a wide variety of materials. The electron mobility in semiconductors can be greatly decreased by the formation of polarons. Organic semiconductors are also sensitive to polaronic effects, which is particularly relevant in the design of organic solar cells that effectively transport charge. The electron-phonon interaction that forms Cooper pairs in low TC superconductors can also be modeled as a polaron, and two opposite spin electrons may form a bipolar and sharing a phonon cloud. This has been suggested as a mechanism for Cooper pair formation in high TC superconductors. Polarons are also important for interpreting the optical conductivity of these types of materials. The polaron, a fermionic quasi-particle, should not be confused with the polaritone, a bosonic quasi-particle analogous to a hybridized state between a photon and an optical phonon. Polaron theory, LD, Landau and S. I. P. Carr formed the basis of polaron theory. A charge placed in a polarizable medium will be screened. Dielectric theory describes the phenomenon by the induction of a polarization around the charge carrier. The induced polarization will follow the charge carrier when it is moving through the medium. The carrier together with the induced polarization is considered as one entity, which is called a polaron. A conduction electron in an ionic crystal or a polar semiconductor is the prototype of a polaron. Herbert Froelich proposed a model Hamiltonian for this polaron through which its dynamics are treated quantum mechanically. This model assumes that electron wave function is spread out over many ions which are all somewhat displaced from their equilibrium positions, or the continuum approximation. The strength of the electron-phonon interaction is expressed by a dimensionless coupling constant alpha introduced by Froelich. In Table 1 the Froelich coupling constant is given for a few solids. The Froelich Hamiltonian for a single electron in a crystal using second quantization notation is the exact form of gamma depends on the material and the type of phonon being used in the model. A detailed advanced discussion of the variations of the Froelich Hamiltonian can be found in J. T. De Vries and A. S. Alexandra of the terms Froelich polaron and large polaron are sometimes used synonymously. Since the Froelich Hamiltonian includes the continuum approximation and long-range forces, there is no known exact solution for the Froelich Hamiltonian with longitudinal optical phonons and linear despite extensive investigations. 
Despite the lack of an exact solution, some approximations of the Polaron properties are known. The physical properties of a Polaron differ from those of a band carrier. A Polaron is characterized by its self-energy, an effective mass and by its characteristic response to external electric and magnetic fields. When the coupling is weak, the self-energy of the Polaron can be approximated as and the Polaron mass, which can be measured by cyclotron resonance experiments, is larger than the band mass M of the charge carrier without self-induced polarization. When the coupling is strong, a variational approach due to Landau and Picard indicates that the self-energy is proportional to alpha squared and the Polaron mass scales as alpha. The landau picard variational calculation yields an upper bound to the Polaron self-energy, valid for all alpha, where is a constant determined by solving an integral differential equation. It was an open question for many years whether this expression was asymptotically exact as alpha tends to infinity. Finally, Donska and Varadhan, applying large deviation theory to Feynman's path integral formulation for the self-energy, showed the large alpha exactitude of this Landau-Picard formula. Later, Lieb and Thomas gave a shorter proof using more conventional methods, and with explicit bounds on the lower-order corrections to the Landau-Picard formula. Feynman introduced a variational principle for path integrals to study the Polaron. He simulated the interaction between the electron and the polarization modes by a harmonic interaction between a hypothetical particle and the electron. The analysis of an exactly solvable 1D Polaron model, Monte Carlo schemes and other numerical schemes demonstrate the remarkable accuracy of Feynman's path integral approach to the Polaron ground state, energy, experimentally more directly accessible properties of the Polaron, such as its mobility and optical absorption, have been investigated subsequently. In the strong coupling limit, the spectrum of excited states of a Polaron begins with Polaron phonon bound states with energies less than, whereas the frequency of optical phonons, Polaron optical absorption, the expression for the magnetor-optical absorption of a Polaron is, here, is the cyclotron frequency for a rigid band electron. The magnetor-optical absorption gamma at the frequency omega takes the form sigma is the so-called memory function, which describes the dynamics of the polaron. Sigma depends also on alpha, beta what is beta, and, in the absence of an external magnetic field of the polaron at weak coupling is determined by the absorption of radiation energy, which is re-emitted in the form of low phonons. At larger coupling, the polaron can undergo transitions toward a relatively stable internal excited state called the relaxed excited state. The res peak in the spectrum also has a phonon sideband, which is related to a Frank Condon type transition. A comparison of the DSG results with the optical conductivity spectra given by approximation free numerical and approximate analytical approaches is. Given in ref, calculations of the optical conductivity for the Frolich polaron performed within the diagrammatic quantum Monte Carlo method, C fig. 3. Fully confirm the results of the path integral variational approach at in the intermediate coupling regime the low energy behavior and the position of the maximum of the optical conductivity spectrum of ref. Follow well the prediction of ref. There are the following qualitative differences between the two approaches in the intermediate and strong coupling regime. In ref, the dominant peak broadens and the second peak does not develop, giving instead rise to a flat shoulder in the optical conductivity spectrum at. This behavior can be attributed to the optical processes with participation of two or more phonons. The nature of the excited states of a polaron needs further study. The application of a sufficiently strong external magnetic field allows one to satisfy the resonance condition, which determines the polaron cyclotron resonance frequency. From this condition also the polaron cyclotron mass can be derived. 
using the most accurate theoretical Polaron models to evaluate the experimental cyclotron data can be well accounted for. Evidence for the Polaron character of charge carriers in AGBR and AGCL was obtained through high-precision cyclotron resonance experiments in external magnetic fields up to 16 T. The all-coupling magnetoabsorption calculated in REF leads to the best quantitative agreement between theory and experiment for AGBR and AGCL. This quantitative interpretation of the cyclotron resonance experiment in AGBR and AGCL by the theory of REF provided one of the most convincing and clearest demonstrations of Froelich polaron features in solids. Experimental data on the magnetopolaron effect, obtained using far-infrared photoconductivity techniques, have been applied to study the energy spectrum of shallow donors in polar semiconductor layers of CDTE. The polaron effect well above the low phonon energy was studied through cyclotron resonance measurements. G in EV semiconductors observed in ultra-high magnetic fields. The resonant polaron effect manifests itself when the cyclotron frequency approaches the low phonon energy in sufficiently high magnetic fields. Polarons in two dimensions and in quasi-2D structures. The great interest in the study of the two-dimensional electron gas has also resulted in many investigations on the properties of polarons in two dimensions. A simple model for the 2D polaron system consists of an electron confined to a plane, interacting via the Froelich interaction with the low phonons of a 3D surrounding medium. The self-energy and the mass of such a 2D polaron are no longer described by the expressions valid in 3D. For weak coupling they can be approximated, as it has been shown that simple scaling relations exist, connecting the physical properties of polarons in 2D with those in 3D. An example of such a scaling relation is where of, respectively, the polaron and the electron band masses in 2D. The effect of the confinement of the Froelich polaron is to enhance the effective polaron coupling. However, many particle effects tend to counterbalance this effect because of screening. Also in 2D systems cyclotron resonance is a convenient tool to study polaron effects. Although several other effects have to be taken into account, the polaron effect is clearly revealed in the cyclotron mass. An interesting 2D system consists of electrons on films of liquid He. In this system the electrons couple to the ripplons of the liquid He, forming ripplopolarins. The effect of coupling can be relatively large and, for some values of the parameters, self-trapping can result. The acoustic nature of the ripple and dispersion at long wavelengths is a key aspect of the trapping. For gas, ALXGA1XA's quantum wells and superlattices, the polaron effect is found to decrease the energy of the shallow donor states at low magnetic fields and leads to a resonant splitting of the energies at high magnetic fields. The energy spectra of such polaronic systems is shallow donors. G, the D0 and D- centers, constitute the most complete and detailed polaron spectroscopy realized in the literature. In gas, alas, quantum wells with sufficiently high electron density, anti-crossing of the cyclotron resonance spectra has been observed near the gas transverse optical phonon frequency rather than near the gas low phonon frequency. This anti-crossing near the tophonon frequency was explained in the framework of the polaron theory. Besides optical properties, many other physical properties of polarons have been studied, including the possibility of self-trapping, polaron transport, magnetophonon resonance, etc. Extensions of the polaron concept Significant are also the extensions of the polaron concept. Acoustic polaron, piezoelectric polaron, electronic polaron, bound polaron, trapped polaron, spin polaron, molecular polaron, solvated polarins, polaronic exciton, yarn telepolaron, small polaron, bipolarins and many polaron systems. These extensions of the concept are invoked. 
g to study the properties of conjugated polymers, colossal magnet resistance perovskites, high superconductors, layered MgB2 superconductors, fullerenes, quasi-1D conductors, semiconductor nanostructures. The possibility that polarons and bipolarons play a role in high superconductors has renewed interest in the physical properties of many polaron systems and, in particular, in their optical properties. Theoretical treatments have been extended from one polaron to many polaron systems. A new aspect of the polaron concept has been investigated for semiconductor nanostructures. The exciton phonon states are not factorizable into an adiabatic product ansatz, so that a non-adiabatic treatment is needed. The non-adiabaticity of the exciton phonon systems leads to a strong enhancement of the phonon-assisted transition probabilities and to multiphonon optical spectra that are considerably different from the frank condon progression even for small values of the electron phonon coupling constants is the case for typical semiconductor nanostructures. In biophysics Davy Dov Soliton is a propagating along the protein alpha helix self-trapped hamidi excitation that is a solution of the Davy Dov Hamiltonian. The mathematical techniques that are used to analyze Davy Dov Soliton are similar to some that have been developed in polaron theory. In this context the Davy Dov Soliton corresponds to a polaron that is large so the continuum limit approximation in justified acoustic because the self-localization arises from interactions with acoustic modes of the lattice, and weakly coupled because the anharmonic energy is small compared with the phonon bandwidth. More recently it was shown that the system of an impurity in a Bose-Einstein condensate is also a member of the polaron family. This is very promising for experimentally probing the hitherto inaccessible strong coupling regime since in this case interaction strengths can be externally tuned through the use of a phage back resonance.